All right, so now we're going to introduce the right-hand rule for cross product. If you cross two vectors, you'll always get a vector. Uh, the resultant vector from your cross product will be perpendicular to both of them. So you'll see if we take the cross product of either of these, uh, the two green ones or the two blue ones, uh, the third vector that we're going to get as the result is either going to come straight out of the page or straight into the page because they're both in the plane of the page or both in the plane of the x-y axis. So, but how do we know if it comes in or out? Well, we can do it mathematically and find that out, or we can have a quicker approximation, not approximation, we can have a quicker method of just determining the direction with no magnitude, and that's called the right-hand rule. And basically what you can do is you can uh, you can use your right hand, and we'll just draw a picture. This is going to be a really bad picture, by the way, but we'll try and draw your hand. So this is going to be your thumb, like that, and then kind of have your hand maybe some fingers coming out like this. And what you're doing is you're, imagine you're kind of karate chopping the page, right? So that would be your index finger. There would be another finger here and so on. And you probably have five fingers, something like that. So imagine that this is your hand and you've karate chopped the page um, and your thumb is sticking straight up. So if you place your hand like this on the first vector, so imagine you place it on this vector and then you sweep it with your uh, within the direction that your palm is facing to the second vector, then the resultant of the of the cross product is going to be pointing in the direction of your thumb. So here your thumb would be pointing straight up, whereas you have you know karate chopped the page. Uh, so for both of these vectors, for example, if we have this vector cross this vector, the resulting vector is going to come out of the page. But if you reversed your hand the other way, put it here. So now you'd have to kind of reverse karate chop or put your thumb. Uh, your thumb would have to be touching the page and this picture would be reversed and then you would sweep this way in the direction of your palm and the resulting vector would be pointing into the page. Okay, so let's do these and let's see what happens. So let's do the first one. We have, uh, uh, we'll, we'll go this way so to match the picture. So we'll have one, zero, zero, cross, zero, one, zero. And remember, we talked about these in the last video. This is actually the unit vector i, and this is the unit vector j. So, and we're going to see that we hopefully will get the unit vector k. So when we do this, we'll have the first element will be this one times this one minus this one times this one. So we get 0 minus 0. I'll do the, the third element now. That's just the way that I like to do it. So we have 1 times 1 minus 0 times 0. So we'll have 1 minus 0. And then for the middle element, we'll have this guy times this guy minus this guy times this guy, so that's 0 minus 0. And again, if you don't remember how to do this, I have a video on how to do the cross product. You can just go easily find that. So anyways, i cross j, let's call that i cross j, is going to equal 0, 0, 1. And that's actually the unit vector that we call k. All right, so there we go. And we know that k, well, we can look at this too. It's going to have zero component in the x direction, zero component in the y direction, and one in the z direction. So if you look at that over here, you karate chop this guy, move, swing your palm over, and then the direction that your thumb is pointing out of the page is definitely in the z direction. Okay, so let's do the blue one now. So these ones aren't i and j, but they're both in the same plane. They're in the xy plane. So if we go and do this, um, let's do it down here maybe. So we'll sweep the same way again. So we have 2, 1, 0, cross this other vector, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3, 0. Okay, so now the first element is going to be 1 times 0 minus 3 times 0, so we'll have 0 minus 0. The last element, this, so this is just the habit that I do it, uh, you can do it second element first, this is the way I like to do it, so we'll have 2 times 3 minus 1 times 1, so we'll have 6 minus 1. Oh, sorry, that's the last element, 6 minus 1. And then the middle element, you switch the direction, so 0 times 1 minus 2 times 0, so we get 0 minus 0. Okay, so then when we evaluate this, we will get some vector that's 0, 0, 5. All right, now these vectors are a little more useless than the unit vectors, but you'll see that these are definitely in the xy plane, and then the resulting vector is only in the z plane. And so again, if you karate chop this guy, sweep this way, and then whichever direction your thumb is pointing is definitely going to be pointing out of the plane. Okay, so now let's try reversing the green ones. So what if we had um, 0, 1, 0, cross 
one zero zero. All right, so we have this. We'll have the first element. So again, this is well. First of all, this is the same thing as J cross I. The first element is one times zero minus zero times zero, so that's zero minus zero. The last element will be zero times zero minus one times one, so we get zero minus one. And the middle element, we'll switch directions, so we'll get zero times one minus zero times zero. So we get zero minus zero. Okay, and the answer to this, now we'll get zero, zero minus one. Zero, that's not a six, that's a zero, zero minus one. Or we could also say this is equal to minus k. So let's look at that. Imagine kind of reverse karate chopping this, thumb first, and then sweeping palm direction to this one. Then your thumb is going to pivot around here on the, you know, your thumb would be here, so it's pointing directly into the page. So there we go. That's just some intuition on the right hand rule. Um, obviously, if you're not in the xy plane, um, whatever plane the two vectors make with each other in three dimensional space, you can sweep along that line and it'll either point up from the plane or down from the plane. 